Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. Last time we went through pretty much a little bit under the first half of the game because we haven't got 60 stars yet. But uh, we're making it, we're just going to continue here and start and start with Lethal Lava Land. So this is um, one of the few instances where I get burnt <laughs> to a crisp like that but you know like um here I'm actually not going to be getting the 8 red coins in conjunction with the 100 coin star because this is one of the few levels where there's a secondary uh, part to the level uh, where you go through that little volcano over there and it basically counts as a second section in a way if you want to call it that. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is when I go for 100 coins, I'm gonna go and get get as many coins in that in the main area as I can. Then go into that volcano, get the 100 coin 100 coins there, and then uh, get the get one of the stars in the volcano. So it's just it just works a lot better that way and keeps things more streamlined. Because I because I don't even know if you can get 100 coins in the main area alone, um, like. I'm pretty sure that it, there are some other levels that have like secondary sections like that, like in the next level we're going to after this. And I don't think in that gate, uh, level's case you can get the 100 coins in the main area first. So, you know, I'm just gonna keep it safe and just get the 100 coin star during, when I go for those missions. And once we get there, you'll know that, well, I'll probably mention it when we get to it, but yeah. Um, these guys are new types of enemies. Basically, what you want to do is just push them off the air, push them off the edge, and then they die. But they can be kind of annoying to deal with, especially when they're in groups. But most of the time, what I tend to do is just ground pound because that tends to send them flying pretty well, not flying, but send sends them pretty far, and it's it's generally a go good option. Because, you know, kicks and all that can be kind of a, kind of hard to hit with the small guys because they're, well, because of their size, you can easily miss with a jump kick and even when you're, even when you're just doing like these normal ta attacks, they can sometimes not connect at the right times and you just get bonked or you just get bonked back um, regardless. So most of the time it's just best to do uh, ground pounds for the small guys and jump kicks for the big ones. Um, the, the big ones are usually for power stars, so yeah, you want to look out for those the most. Um, they aren't that frequent in this game, I believe. Like, there are. You, you'll only be seeing them a few times throughout the game. Like, this level is pretty filled with them, but after that, we'll only see them a few more times, I think. So, they're not going to be too. Uh, they're not going to be showing up too much, but it's, um, they'll, they'll still show up every now and then, but it's just a few more times, like, one more time, there's a, there's a, a, uh, ice version later on, but other than that, I don't remember any others, but yeah. This is also really, I, I think this is the only, uh, lava level in the game um and i don't know i think it's pretty decent like uh, there were, but there was originally gonna be um blogs in this game like those weird lava enemies from mario world um well i i don't know if they were gonna be in this story level but they were gonna be in this game and i think if you look hard enough you can find um was it models for the guys and they definitely don't look finished, but it would have been interesting to see where they would have put them. Because, like, if they were, were to be put in this level, I think... I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but yeah, if they were going to be put in this level, I'd say this is this section right here would be a good fit for them. Because you're... In Mario World, they usually appear when you're on, like, those bone raft things. And... That little caged platform is pretty similar to that, so I think it would be pretty... Uh, it would make a lot of sense to put them there. But alas, they just have fire uh, 
ge uh, geysers instead, or whatever you want to call those. But, hey. But yeah, it's a pretty standard lava level, as lava levels go. Um, I think it's designed pretty well. It's very quick and simple. Like, you can get a lot... As you can see, a lot of these stars can be get, you can get in a really short time. And it just kind of keeps... It just keeps the flow going. So, you know, I, I like this level. It's, it's not too complicated, but it's not um, overly simple as well. Like I said, there's the second section in the volcano, which makes things a little bit more interesting than they would have been without it. But even with it, it's not too complicated. It just makes things a little bit more exciting, I guess. But yeah, it's a pretty decent level. Not one of the best in the game, but it's... As a lava level, I think it's pretty good. Um, but, you know, there are definitely a lot better lava levels in the series, but... Yeah, you can't hit a home run every time. But, hey, it's still a good level in my opinion. But, yeah. I'm just going to be going around trying to get 100 coins. Well, close to 100 coins as we can, at least. Um, avoid these guys. And there's, there, there is one, um, what is it, one, a couple of missions, if, if there is more than one, where there's a, um, come on, oh, there we go, where there is a, um, little, a, what was it, there's a block that holds a shell in it, I believe, a Cooper shell. And that can be used to ride in lava. I don't know how uh, Cooper shells can do that, but hey. <laughs> I don't... I'm pretty sure they can... No, they couldn't do that in Mario World. They just sank. So I don't really get what's going on with that, but hey. I guess they were improved over the course of this game and... Uh, well, over the course of Mario World in this game or something or... Uh, I don't know. Careful there. And just make sure I don't get burnt while using this. And yeah, they disappear. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they the coins disappear as soon as you la they land in the lava, which kind of sucks. But hey, kind of makes sense, I suppose. So you're gonna be gonna have to be wary of that. I'm hoping I can get enough coins. Is it? The, uh, keep in mind, the volcano doesn't have a lot of coins in it, so you don't want to go in there rushing in, hoping to get 100 coins in that place alone, because you, I'm pretty sure that won't you won't be able to do that, and you won't be able to get out of the volcano after you go in it, so at least as far as I know. There could be like some kind of trick, but as far as I know, that's not the case, so I'm just... And yeah, those... Oh, come on. Oh, the man. Give me... Yes, I need a blue coin badly. Where does this go again? Oh, okay. Alright, now we're actually going to go into the volcano. But yeah, those coins there are basically your indication of you being able to somehow got a ride on the lava, so you don't really need to do that though. Failure! Come on. Alright. There we go. Alright, so most of, a lot of the coins are on the, this pathway, so yeah, the other one is pretty short compared to this one, so might as well go for this one and be safe with 100 coins. And these guys can get a little bit annoying, as you can see. Whoa! Oh! Okay. But yeah, this just makes it a little, the level a little bit more interesting. And there we go.
I knew that was gonna happen. Oh my gosh. Okay. Did it say? Did it still save it? It should have. Do I still have 100 coins here? Apparently. I'm gonna assume I do because that is, it says, oh, do you wanna save? And I said yes, yeah, so. I'm hoping it counted. Because if it didn't, that would kinda suck. I wanna. I wanna beat that. Get past it before it goes down, but okay. I need to. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's not. Stop falling around. It has been a while since I did the last session, so. Might feel. be a little bit rusty, but hey. Again, this is one of the. one of my. childhood games, so. I do know a lot about it. I'm not a. I'm not speedrunner material, but. You know. Stuff like, it, like this can be a little bit hairy. There we go. But yeah, one thing I do like about these kinds of levels is that when you, when you go into the um, secondary section, it does actually load you there as soon as you go back into the painting. So, yeah, we got the star fine. Okay. Oh, okay, I can show it off. Okay. Yay! Yeah, this is what I was talking about. It's pretty cool, actually. But we're not going to be staying around here, so... So we just go back. Then we can... Basically, do a similar thing to what we did in Hazy Maze Cave. And it's... Definitely the less exciting of the two paths, but... You know, I guess they wanted to use, get the most out of this platform. Uh, I guess in a way it can be compared to the snake platforms. Oh, I didn't want to turn, I don't want to move around like that. Look, sometimes, uh, I don't know how it, the game determines it. Like sometimes you were uh, like, do a complete turn like that and other times it just snaps to the opposite direction which is what I prefer because most of the time when it does that wait okay okay may maybe it always does that huh yeah okay I might be thinking of other games but yeah I generally prefer it when it just snaps to the opposite direction you're facing because most of the time like waiting it for waiting it for it to do a completely 360 de 360 de uh, degree turn makes it very easy for you to just fall off a platform and die or something so yeah it's a little bit annoying all right so i'm actually gonna get eight red coins here as well because like the other level, I don't want to fall here because that's quicksand. And that's dangerously close. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, when it does that... Yeah, that's easier for me to cope with because I can... I don't really need to explain it. It just works better. But yeah, I want to get eight red coins here because like the other level, there's a second section, this time with a pyramid. Uh, obvi obviously, so yeah, I'm gonna get the eight red coins here and just yeah, there's not much else to say about it. And yeah, those two D pokey sprites just go, I love them. Yeah, like 
I kind of have a love-hate relationship with the wing cap because I love flying. Like, it's pretty cool, but yeah, it's kind of annoying to work with at times. Like, like the um, when you get when you get into a cannon, that's when it shines. But without it, it's just kind of it works fine enough. But yeah, it's very slow, and if you go too high, you're pretty much not gonna not gonna go that far. Like you can barely get these coins. And I'm dangerously running low on. I, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Energy, I guess. Same kind of, same general thing, but hey. Okay. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that would have been stupid. Right. Yeah. Jeez. I think uh, you actually. I think you fall into the sand like it, like you, uh, like falling into the snow. So I don't care about that. I'll get that. I'll get that on another playthrough or run of the stage. I am having way too much trouble getting this. I don't usually take this long to get these coins. There we go. It didn't even look like I got that. And just because... Just so I don't have to worry about this later. No! Whoa, what the heck? Yeah, it's just so jarring how a lot of the enemies have 3D models, and you look at the Pokey and it's a 2D sprite. But it's just a little bit jarring. I guess it's because like there's like multiple layers to it, so it just makes it easier for to for the N64 to handle. Oh gosh, to handle a bunch of 2D sprites instead of like tons of 3D models for one enemy, but yeah, it's just kind of weird to look at. Kind of creepy, honestly. But hey. And last one, here. Uh, let's see how far I can get. It's gonna run out. Don't you death. Oh gosh. Um, okay. I was scared that was gonna happen, but I wanted to make sure I had a good landing. Okay. So there was another star on the pyramid. Like, that's what I like about this game. Is I don't know if I mentioned this in the previous session, but I like I just like how fast flowing it is. Like you, the stars are really quick and easy to get, and you just keep going and going. Like it, there's. Virtually no loading screen. What the hell happened there? <laughs> but yeah, there are virtually no loading screens, and it's a lot. A lot of the stars are very quick to get if you know what you're doing, and it re it's really rewarding for speedrunners. Like you look at some of the stuff people do, minus the stupid long jump, zero stars completion stuff. <laughs> like yeah, that's kind of ridiculous, but. Like just trying to get go through all these, go through all the all the levels, getting the stars and everything, like actually playing the game instead of getting to the third Bowser fight with zero stars. It's really, it's just really thrilling to do, to do. Just see how fast you can get through the game and all that. Uh, like some levels um, take longer than others and don't really follow the tr this trend, but most of the time. The stars are really quick and simple, and sometimes games don't even ha don't have to be like overly complicated. Like a lot of the stars in the game are pretty self-explanatory, and you don't have to 
think too hard about it. So, you know, sometimes being a little, a bit more simple uh, instead of being overly complicated can be a good thing. You don't always have to be like overly complex. Like there are times, there are definitely times when this game does tries to do more uh, unique things and all that. Like tries to be like really creative. I, I don't know. But like, wait, can I even? Okay, what? Okay, I'll wait. I'll just get the star. Cause I don't think it doesn't seem like the pyramid is breaking up or breaking apart. But yeah, this is for as the uh, 3D platformers go, and like how much of a, of an impact this game made. I do appreciate what it has done, and you can. You can definitely tell that it made its mark. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that like, uh, since there are a lot of stars that are sim just simply out in the open, you just, you just have to know how to get to them. I'm not saying that them being, I'm not saying that st uh, them being easy to find, well, not easy to find, but. Um, easy to uh, fast and simple to get to I'm not like I'm not saying that's a bad thing but I, it, it kind of depends on the game like wh and what you're trying to get from it but I think this like that could have been oh man that could have been really bad but yeah I just like how the uh, this how this game is structured because it does have pre some pretty cool things, but a lot of the time is uh, designed to be more, kind of more simple, but in a deep, not a deep way, but like, I don't know, it's kind of weird to explain, but it's designed very cleverly. And it just, 